We are TV here in the uh, Lampasi community, specifically Zinkam. Zinkam community. Zinkam and uh, Baro Patis Ground. Baro Spider Ground, where the young men, these young men are working. They're preparing this major quarters before the start of the mini season. You. You are too close together before somebody shall a friend. Why can I stay there while you are doing so? I want a break. I want a break. Clearing the waterway before the rainy season because this community gets very flooded. Residents of this community usually uh, move over to other communities where they have to seek shelter because of the flooding. So, as a result of that, to prevent that from happening, or minimize it, they are preparing this water for a huge flow of water. Okay, let's talk with a resident of this uh, community, the man who is uh, a permanent resident of this place. Welcome, sir. What's your name? Anthony Yakawu. Anthony Yakawu, tell us about this, this water. What, hap what can happen to it usually? All right, thank you. Yeah, this is the water. That's where we take the water from Sima, carrying all the way to Fubu Factory, so that it will clean it today. So the other people have already cleaned it, the staff way up there. So we are trying to link it, so that next week we will continue doing the follow-up. I'm the one who owns the farm here. So you got, you got the last farm? Yes. So okay. this is what the Fubi, the people, this is the boy in front of the group, and they asked me to be with them so we can do the work. But as you can see, the water not going, it's just sitting now. Mainly the front part, the drain, the sloping of the drain, it's not correct. But we try to clean it and observe it. Maybe small, 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 we'll find a solution. This is, this, is, this is what we are here to do. So, how long will the project last? Uh, honestly, it's been supported by the uh, friends of Kobe, but how long will the project last? Uh, now, nah. maybe from here we'll, we'll do the following report to him that we want this, we want that, we want this to be done. But this is the first day he came. Since that June today he came to, to, to help us. He bought all these colleges and the rigs. And then these boys are all in working for him. They do garbage collection in the community. This, are, this is their head. You can see the, their logo. Now, you as a permanent resident here, what level of mobilization did you put into this work? Because there are a lot of young people that, that are under your control. Yes. Why are they not part of this? They're part of it. They bought it from my community. They all the bought with a race here from my community. And then they all the one that my own son and some poor coming. And then when the poor brother the then it will not prepare because the caller said the same way they brought it from the store. They just had the brother here, it can't work. So I guess other people, they carry to our wedding shop, they are shopping there. Let's look at the men doing their work now. And, uh, it's a very big swamp. We have to be very careful before we run into it. No, don't, don't worry, the men will come in here. Come in. You, if you call it small money, that how would the rain take it? That thing I've been telling you. The rain need to lead the team together in jacket. But you just last year, just last year. Give me the people, give me the hard time. No, the guy with the people. They're doing less than work. The red and the way the body, the whole small. If you post small, you take the can't take the way. So no matter what. Mr. Henry, after that uh, shot, uh, why? And how did you get these men that are in the water today? Oh, they are our regular partners, MAP, Movement Against Poverty, from right in the same Lapasi community. We've been using them since last year, and they have been actually doing well in solving the community problems. So we want to keep stressing and encouraging them to always be there to solve some of these problems, because if we can all be positive agents, and impact the community positively, I think we will, to a, long, to a larger extent, help ourselves and solve most of our problems. So this project, how long will it last? 
I understand the, the border runs from here all the way to from fire ground of Madiba Road. Yeah, we want to see firstly what, what the impact would make today. So, but we intend to extend it all the way to the main sewage line at Water and Sewer somewhere in Fiamma. So, we are working on how we can get to that extent. So, what we can do today, probably we must see if we have made significant progress. Then next Saturday we can also extend to the other end to have the better connection. Okay, the men are working. We follow their work here, and this is real TV in the uh, Zinkian Lakbati community where there's a vast project sponsored by friends of Kobe Henry is ongoing. The men are in the water this morning. It's a tedious job. It's quite a while. Uh, one of them got touched by my rings. And so, I, but I think what would have been created those women with the fishing net would have been here while the men are moving and getting those fish from the water. And that would have been okay. Those uh, women who carry those uh, country fishing net, they would have made some part getting the marines from the water. Why didn't you fully get those women with a, with a basket to make some impact? Uh, firstly, we didn't think about that. We just came to us to open the waterway and solve the problem of Potential flood that uh, was all the, for the, during the rain. So let's just open it for now. I show once it is open, we will see them coming to do their regular fishing because we saw some of them up there picking greens, the chicken greens to go and sell. So I think there's something that they want to keep doing. And just to highlight, we also doing this in collaboration with Mr. Cummins. Alexander B. Cummings to see how we can help to impact the community. So this is a project that we that are partnering with him to see how we can have more impact in the community to get better livelihood and solve some of those many problems that we have. We cannot solve all at the same time, but at least we can touch a few lives and make sure that we get people out of some of those problems that they always face. But the main one want to say to the community, take this as your own, support the initiative, and be part of it. Don't stand on the fence and don't refuse to solve your own problems. And don't wait, don't think it is somebody's responsibility to come and help you. You should help yourself and if somebody coming to help you, be in the forefront in helping yourself. So that way we can all solve the problem of Liberia and make Liberia a better place. The men are working. And you see the level of the progress they made from there and uh, to where we are and they plan to go further ahead of them and the work started on the other side of the, the, the swamp some time ago and this is an extension and continuation of the project Yeah, <laughs> 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 Don't worry about it. 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 Don't worry about Don't worry about it. I want
Ah, il finit. TV is once again in the Swami community. This time we're in Mangi Town, uh, where the rainy season has started. Residents of this community are experiencing heavy flooding. Well, the friends of Kofi Henders, and uh, in collaboration with Mark, they've, yeah, they've come this morning to uh, help alleviate the residents from this uh, situation they are faced with. And we, we, you see before the camera we have two ladies. They are from Motopatam uh, Health Science Institution. And they are here to, uh, one way or the other, help with uh, sanitation issues uh, in this community. What's your name first? Let's start with you. What's your name? My name is Nora Enkwe. From Mother Patin College for Health and doing social work. Okay, and you? I'm Josephine Wea from the Mother Patin. They are two social workers. Now, they've been in the community for close to a week now. They're here for a special reason. Why are you people here? Yeah, we were told by our instructors to come and do a community assessment. We're doing course for working in Liberal community. And for us as a group, we decided to come to Bangestan to work with the Bangestan people. And we started with them for the past three months now. We came to them, they identified an, a project that they said that they wanted for us to help them to work in the, to clean up their drainage. And from time to time, we discussed with them, and now, today is a day for us to implement the project that we, we started working with them. So how long have you been here, and what is the level of cooperation you get from the, the residents of Bangui Town? We've been here as my police here for the past three months. We came first, we got in contact with the leadership that assured us that, you know, we're welcome and they assure us that we can stay in the community to do our work. We first decided that since it's a community work to come together as community to contribute a certain amount to do the work because we are students and we didn't come with phone or come with our knowledge and expertise. But we got in the community, we first agreed that each house will pay twenty-five dollars and a cup of rice. Like dollars, like dollars and a cup of rice. But for the past one month, we'll come in the community, we engage the leadership. They will always tell us that all oh, the people are paying, and the people are paying. So it was literally last week when we got in the community because we set today June 4th to be implementation date for our project. We got in the community to our utmost surprise, the leadership told us that the people are not paying and they are not even willing to pay. We were somehow frustrated, but one or other we got our courage and we got in contact with. Well, 
He will discuss our purpose in the community, we discuss in our mission. He came here and told us that he will help in the protest. So he told us that he will bring, you know, your car up people, we should car up people, where you help with the feelings and, you know, material support be able to do the work. So it is because of his, his support that the work is going on today. Because the leadership of Pakistan or the people of Pakistan have, they are not cooperating and they have not been cooperating. And imagine they are the one uh, in the swamp, they are the yes. one in the water, they yes. can see the water all in the community here. And uh, they suffer from the flow of water going to their rooms. As you can see, there's a serious health problem here. If care is not taking the kids, might be the one to get ill. Did you tell them that? Uh, did you tell them that this will result to some problem medically? Yes, yeah. We explained to them they, they they are all aware, but the issue is they want us to pay them to do their work. This is where we got stuck between we and the community. They want us to pay them, and we explained to them that we don't have fun. We don't keep with money. We expect the community to generate money to do the work. Mm -hmm. But since then, they, because they knew that we didn't come with, you know, the money that they expected, so they are paying back line. But hopefully today, and with the support of Harry Ubi, our work is going on. So how long would this work be uh, carried out in this community? You've been there for a long time, not getting cooperation. How long do you tend to get this done? Because this is a big community. Bangitan is not a small community. When we came first, we explained everything, and if before the implementation date, we targeted from that side all the way to the church there to be the area that we clean. So today, because of the manpower that we have, and you can see the work going on, so we can see in a few hours the drainage or the path will be clean. It extends further, yeah, and there's a bridge further. over there. Yeah, so is there, are there plans to go to the bridge? No. We intend to open it to the church there. That, 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 that's a one, one day project? Yes. Yeah, 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 one day project. project. And would that be sufficient? Uh, a work by a social worker, would that be sufficient? Or you intend to do something else? That would not be sufficient, but we are working with a time frame. We are going to school and it's a semester. We are working from now till the end of this June. We should be taking our final June 17. So at the end of this, our professor has said all the see us implementing some work. So because of the time frame that we have limited our work to stop into the church there. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you for talking with Real TV. First of all, we uh, have over time pass engaged into sanitation projects, helping communities, getting them from their situation due to flooding. The rainy season has come. He started this in the dry season and it is still ongoing into the rainy season. And it has been helpful and it's still helpful. Even at this time, we can see people living in this community of such kind. Look at the surrounding. Surrounding being uh, polluted by the very people that live here. That's the situation.
Be careful on your foot. This community has a serious sanitation problem caused by residents themselves. See where they use the, the, the waste of the waste. And uh, where they you take bath and other things. Or where they sleep. The sanitation group in district number nine in the Bangi Town community, and two of uh, the community residents have joined the team. This is one of the the residents of the two that have joined. Let's get your comment. Uh, what's your name, sir? Emmanuel B. Johnson. Emmanuel, you working along with Mark clean the drainage within your community? Tell us first of all why aren't there a lot of uh, young men helping? Mm. I'm helping the people because I want development in my community. Not only my community, in my country. It's Mama Liberia. So now they come to help you and uh, you joining them. Yeah. What can you tell other young people in the community? I understand this place is uh, flooded with a lot of young men. Mm -hmm. But we're not seeing them here today. The only thing I want for them to do is to go up. Anytime they have a development, they have to be there to help. And the development can go on. All right. Thank you for talking with Real TV. Yes. Yes, sir. Mama has received supplies of rain boots to Pobi Henry's and uh, to enhance their sanitation work. That is the purpose. These men been working in the swamp within uh, district number nine and its environs. Cleaning quarters. Before the rainy season, 
and now doing the rainy season. Let's now talk with uh, yeah, Bobby Harris, who's uh, with uh, the brain behind Bobby Henrys, who's the brain behind uh, this work, getting uh, men from MAP, the organization within the sanitation uh, initiative. Bobby, welcome to Real TV. Thank you, and always a pleasure of being with you guys. You were working with MAP uh, during the dry season in the swamps, and the project continues now during the rainy season. Why are you still into uh, sanitation work? It's just as we always say, cleanliness next to godliness, and if we have to improve our living standard, good sanitation is the key. So we have to see how we can, every now and then, check around the communities and see how we can make it a better place for all of us. Because solving community issues, sanitary issues, should be the hallmark of everything that we do. We always cry on government, we cry on international community. But if we are not willing to improve our own sanitary conditions, the people that we are calling to come and do these things for us don't live in the communities that we live. So we are the ones, the community dwellers, should actually be in the forefront in solving our own problems. So that's why we always say, let's see how we can get the community part of the thing that we do. As we say, if it is for us, it has to be by us. So this will take us a long way. So let's keep pushing and let's keep driving this every now and then. It's not a one-day thing. It's something that should be an everyday reality. We should live with it. Now, MAP is, uh, my, the men from MAP are in the, in the, in the quarters uh, working. They have only two community dwellers with them. What do you make of that? Yeah, that was very disappointing. And that's something that I did not expect. For other communities that were working, we saw the cooperation of the members there. And it was good also to partner with the Molopatan College of Health Sciences and also Mr. Alexander B. Cummings, as we always go about these initiatives. These are key. And when they came to me and told me that this is something that they have been working with the community for over a month now, trying to get to this stage, we expected to see a huge turnout, especially from the community. And to our utmost surprise, we came this morning without seeing anybody. And I, I already informed MAP and we were on the standby and we said, no, the first option was to postpone the program. But I said, I don't think we will always need to postpone. Every other week we will have something else to do. So let's see how we can get the team on board to put this behind us for good. And let's look at other areas because there are too many areas to concentrate on. We can't just keep postponing, postponing. So if the people are not willing, Though it's something I don't like to do, and community dwellers refuse to take initiative, I don't, I don't support the initiative, but because of the issue of water pattern being a partner and they want to see this as a project, and I think I said, let's drive it. MAP was already on the standby, so I said, okay, maybe get the team on board, let's see how we can push it and let's close this deal. And to the two community members that joined the team, I think, I think we want to say this is what we need. Keep doing it. Don't get frustrated because we'll have people like this. We'll have situations like this coming up every now and then. But let's see how we can, from every, every now and then, keep doing these things. It's what we need to do to make our community better. Okay. I see the ring gear itself for you. Brought in, I uh, understand, you bringing, you brought in them for these uh, workers of MAP. And uh, tell oh, us yeah, the, co the cost and... Uh, probably the ring, the ring, ring will cost $10 per set. You know, a pair, and we just decided to buttress their effort because this is something that they, they are running currently running a sanitation project in Lakwasi, as you are aware. And during the rainy season, this is a challenge getting around in the muddy area. So, uh, we had the intention of also buttressing the effort with rain boots and rain coats later on. But this is also an ideal time to just initiate it. So, at least right after this project, they can also take it with them in the community and start doing their project as we keep implementing we will then later on add the ring coast to it so that they cannot stop they cannot stop, they cannot they cannot stop working during the rain so the rain should not be an obstacle to the project so that's what i want to say rain or shine, let's keep pushing it so the real tv uh again because you've been uh, before the tv several times on sanitation projects now what do you make of what do you make of this uh work in the Bangi town this morning I, this work uh, this work is very hard to but due to healthy 
Captain Nice, we decided to help our and stand ourselves to Pakistan to see how better the people can live healthily in this community. All right. Your men are just in the boots now. Uh, donated by Kobe Hendricks. It's very good. We tell you thank you for his hard work. And we pray that we will always come by ourselves in terms of satisfaction and other stuff. All right, we will the CEO of the Friends of Kobe Henry's. And uh, he's here to uh, do some intervention aside from sanitation work. He's also concerned about the well being of others. And so we're sitting right here with a, a lady that is uh, in the gap. Kobe, what sort of intervention do you want to uh, perform? First, I just saw her sweeping this morning. Yeah, she was on work around the video club. I was yeah, a little bit concerned what mm -hmm. she does for a living. Mm -hmm. She lives with her aunt, according to her, with her Mr. Top. And she sells popcorn. Yeah, I just made her sweep mm herself. -hmm. So, I just want to. Good morning. Welcome to Real TV. What's your name? Cyril Jackson. Can you speak a little bit louder? Your name again? Cyril Jackson. Cyril Jackson. How old are you? 20 years old. And now, uh, what community do you live in? I live in the first street. 24th Street, okay. And uh, what do you do for a living? We sell this thing with Pokemon candy. We sell popcorn with Pokemon candy. Right, every day that you do it. And uh, what happened to your leg? I see you just crush it. Oh, that is small. I found it down. So we get help from your relatives or other people? My father three months old. Your mother called me too. Are you, are you married? Do you have children? I'm single. I got one, one child. Let's get to Kobe Henry's. Uh, he's interested. Tell us how well are you interested? Can you help? Yeah, firstly, seeing her and seeing that she's not on the street begging like other people, that's the first thing that drew my attention because I prefer to see people trying to help yourself. At least if you can help yourself, you encourage other people to help you. But if you always not use this opportunity to take advantage of your situation and say you just feel sorry for yourself and just want everybody to feel sorry for you, I don't think life should go that route. I think all kids, same condition, actually sitting down to sell something to earn at least a daily bread, I think it's highly commending. I think that's something that we should look around and see how we can support this kind of initiative. Once people are willing, once people are willing to help themselves in this condition, you should support them. You know, find way, find way, find way of stepping up. And that way, we see that 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 we that you want to do. So you've been moved to intervene into a webbing? Yes, I'm actually touched. I'm just seeing what she's doing right now. And we sit here probably eight or nine hours selling popcorn. The first thing I saw her doing is sweeping the place that she sells. So I think that's also a positive start. You know, she's not just coming to say because of my condition, I will not 
clean my environment, but at least you know that selling food stuff you also need to sell in a clean environment. And that was so, one of the things that attracted you. That was what, that, you. That was the first thing that brought me closer to start talking to her, seeing her sweet. And later on, we learned that she's also into not just sitting or take her evening duty or morning duty to go on the road and stretch him, but rather selling something at least to make turn around. The profit will not be much because it's going sell capital was for a thousand five like million dollars. So you can expect that you won't have much profit out of this. But I think that if we can just copy out a little bit every now and then with some serious I think she can actually do more. So how are you going to intervene? No, I will give her a hundred dollars to add to what she's currently doing to see how she can step it up and I will come back after one or two months to see whether she has to see whether she has moved from one level to another so I will, I will actually support her with a startup of a startup of hundred dollars okay thank you very much for the intervention into her life the work is done on this side of the drainage since this morning the team the movement against poverty has been working the drainage is open and clear the final uh, finishing touches on that side so one can say all has been done the Friends of Phobie in partnership with Stella, uh, uh, that's uh, the Mother Patton School of Health Sciences, and uh, there's a sanitation group called the Movement Against Poverty, ensure that this side of the drainage becomes what it looks like now. On, at the onset, it was very much closed, but now it's open, the water can flow. Finishing touch has been done. I think the way I see that finishing touch is doing now. Job well done. Yeah, thank you, Thank <laughs> Nothing Huh? The water that was once not able to flow like this is now flowing. Good job done. The handiwork of Fubi Hendricks.
All right, the job is done now. Fubi Henry's is here. Fubi, the water is flowing now. What's your take on that? Yeah, first day we say congratulations to the team for putting all their all into it to see the perfect connection and to see that at least the water is moving with no pressure. So that's amazing. I want to say hello to Mark and let us keep, keep doing it. And for those that join from the community, we also say thank you and let's keep keep it up. And this is our general message I want to send out to all our community dwellers. Firstly, the waterway should not be our dumb site because we only be creating a problem and not fixing the problem. So we shouldn't be dumping that into the waterway. And for community initiative, let's see how we can also support ourselves in solving the problems. I don't live in a drainage area. Josephine and Nam from Moropatin also don't live here. Mr. Alexander Cummings don't live here. The guys from MAP, they don't live here. But we all saw a wise to join the community, Emmanuel and Co. We see how we can support the process. So the community dwellers, and actually those that live around this area, you should take it as your own. Let's see how we can prevent people from dumping into the waterway. Because if you don't stop them from dumping there, there are three things. First day when I issue a flood, you're gonna be gonna face it. The rat and roaches that will crawl from the dump site into your homes, you also gonna face it. Not the people that brought it back there. So if you be a watchman for your community and prevent these things, and let's see how we can keep doing it to bring Labura out and let's support the initiative. Because I was also frustrated when Joseph told me that the community was not willing to contribute on the five Labrador dollars and a cup of rice per household. That also I broke my heart for us. Let's. We will not stop doing it, but we will come and do it and we will send a strong message and let's see how people can join the process. Let's encourage people to get on board. Don't always wait to accept good things. Be part of the good thing that you want to happen to you. Okay. Thank you very much. These are some of the men that were in the water. Let's talk with them first. This gentleman, welcome. You from MAP. Tell us your name. I'm um, Melvin Chi Gawe. Yeah. How was, it, how was it being in the water? Uh, we very disappointed to come in an environment like this where you see the water not flowing and then people suffering from water going through our houses. But well, thank, thank you that food were able to call upon us to open the drainage. Well, you did a good job. Yeah. Alright, another gentleman here. Welcome, what's your name? Yes, yeah, sir. I'm Joseph Fire. Fire, I saw you before uh, this time around in a big swamp in the uh, Lac Basi. You were there in the swamp. Today you also play a role. How you feel doing work like this in other people community? You don't live in the community, but you're in the swamp. Yeah, well, I tell you the last time, I tell Mr. Fubi, thank you first of all. If every community will buy in, the community should be with all to do what we should be able to do for them. They should be part of all in every community. The modern church comes a lot of the time before they start telling oh, us, don't go do this, they don't go do this. Then we come together, we, you know, we come together, not this, this Saturday or this Sunday or this Monday, we should be together. Then we can meet the other community people, so we all will be together, we we'll do what we're able to do in that community. So the community, it can be dirty to by all, by the other community. Okay. So I tell you, thank you. I tell Mr. Fubi, thank you too. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. And let's talk. We talk about the guys who were in the in the drainages, ensuring that uh, the water flow. Now you can see the water is indeed flow with that uh, anticipated speed. And as it flows, it's coming from those uh, community where it was, and the water went into the homes you see there, all between the houses. What's a uh, source of water? But right now they're coming from there, and the people who tonight be able to sleep and uh, breathe a sense of relief. What's your name? Welcome to Real TV. Yes, uh, welcome. My name is Uriah Boy. Uriah, tell us how you feel working in another community for a group of people who should work for themselves. Yeah, I feel good because working in another community is a sign of, you know, sanitation. Yes, I'm, I ain't gonna make me feel fresh. I feel cool. All right, cool. thank you very much. This is another man here. Yeah, welcome. What's your name? Yeah, my name is Robert Freeman. Robert Freeman, tell us how, how you felt when you're in the swamp. You're very wet. Yeah, I feel swamp. Anyway, I'm up wet. I will be fine. Because my face is not going to say something. Moving forward, we will always pray 
to be the Veran Wire of Veran. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much to another gentleman here. What's your name? Uh, I'm Justin Kuma, Secretary General of MAP. Yeah, the SG. Uh, the SG. And uh, you work today. Tell us, how you feel working in other people's community, especially in the Swami areas, in the drainages? Well, I can say I feel fine. You guys, sanitation for the people in the community. I help them for the rain season time so that when water comes, there will not be a flood. And it's very good to clean the community. This exercise is what we intend to do in our community if the Almighty God agrees. Thank okay. you. Thank you very much. We're talking with MAP uh, um, officials and uh, let's uh, talk with. What's your name? I'm Maswapi Wiki, co chairman for Movement Against Poverty. Mm -hmm. And I'm very proud today that we're standing in another community, that another community dweller standing looking at what I've seen, the concern of the work that have been done in this community, Bangistan. But I am very grateful to the manpower that we have what we call MAP. It's always like a rapid response when it comes to, when it comes to community initiative. So for this reason, I congratulate everyone of them for taking part into their work today. Because it's very genuine. So however, I uh, want to check on the for thank you, by giving us some rainbows and other equipment that will take map power. So for that reason, I congratulate, I congratulate you all that came here and participated in this work. So you are welcome. Thank you very much. Let's talk over. He's one of those from the community. We said two gentlemen came from the community. One of those. Welcome. What's your name? I'm William S. Jella. Well, how you feel now? I see the water flowing. I feel very appreciative and I feel very rewarding because you know this is a community initiative. And one is a community initiative who all have to pull hand together to help people who will come to run a social service to us. And I very want to appreciate Mr. Fubi for coming even to help us at this time. Because you know the drainage at the rainy season, uh, the, the, the drainage always flow in the community too. Even the places are residing around the swamp, and the water entering our horses, and it can be, it can be very you know, painful. So I'm very appreciative. Okay. Yeah. I thank you very much for coming, and I hope that this will not be your first and last to come. Thank you very much, uh, Real TV, and uh, this last uh, gentleman. What was your name? I'm Terrence Young, Francis Secretary of Mark. Thank you. You are in the water, so you're working, Terrence. Yes. Tell us how you feel in, one, in, in, in less than a, a minute. I feel very happy and fun because I see myself working in another community. You know, every journey that day, all swimming the journey, enter the community, so the flow of the water all over the horses. We started working for all the risks, certain level here. The blood was started flowing down the drainage. Now that you can see all the water clear and whatever, there's any drought on the Exactly, yeah. community initiative is yeah. taken by the community members themselves. Yes. Just two gentlemen from this community came in to assist in this work, the Bangetown uh, FP community. Just two in the Swami side of the community. Two gentlemen came in and to the disappointment of Mark. Uh, sanitation team for real TV. This is Louis Kono and Dover Harris coming to you from the Bangi Town community. The next time you see us, it will be from a different community. Yeah.